What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to talk about the rest of NASCAR news stories in the last couple days that I've not been able to talk to. Let's just get straight into it. So, Cometa Gasket will sponsor the pole award in the NASCAR Gen RV and Outdoors Truck Series. So a new pole award name for the NASCAR Gen RV and Outdoors Truck Series. Sam Hunt Racing announces partner has announced their partnership with Toyota Racing Development. They also, for those who don't know, they announced last October they would be making their Xfinity Series debut and Colin Garrett would drive. In my opinion, I think that Sam Hunt Racing has the potential to go places. Maybe. We'll see. But um, they're a new team. I hope they do well because, again, Sam Hunt, he's been a driver in the um, in the uh, K ARCA West Series and ARCA East Series. He's driven in those series in the past. And now he's coming over from those series and bringing his team over with Toyota Racing Development, which means they are going to be getting funding from them and they might be getting parts. Now, how aligned will they be uh, with Toyota Racing Development? Who really knows? But I really hope and pray that this team can get going. Because, again, I like when new teams come into the series because it means more teams joining, joining NASCAR, if you know what I mean. Front Row Motorsports has announced a We Care market, marketing program. This will focus on consistent messaging across the teams, public relations, social media, and partnership Activision efforts during designated time periods for each cause. Basically, it's just like a charity. It's basically just charity for, for them, for Front Row Motorsports, which that's really cool. I mean, I like when teams do charity. I mean, I think charity is a great, great thing regardless, depending on your opinions on it, but... I think charity is a really great thing. I think Front Row Motorsports is doing a great thing, especially for all the causes that they're probably going to end up doing here in the near future. They'll probably do a lot of cool things with charity. I think I'm really excited to see what they can do with this. So this is shocking. David Starr moving to JD Motorsports in 2020. Uh, he's leaving Jimmy Means Racing in favor of a rookie. So, yeah, uh, according to a source, a... a anonymous person at tobychristie.com they spoke to toby christie and basically stated that they're that davis star is basically going to be leaving the organization at the at basically two weeks before uh I'll be honest i didn't see this coming davis star had minimal success in a 52 car i think he is going to a better ride personally depending on which number he gets because we don't know what numbers the drivers uh jesse little colby howard or he are going to be running this year but we'll see what Davis Sarr can do. Personally, I think Davis Sarr's goal is to just perform better than he did last year at Jimmy Means, which, again, that should not be too difficult to do. But, again, I've seen at times that 52 car can, can run top 20 at times with certain drivers, and they can beat these JD Motorsports cars. But I think Davis Sarr is getting a little bit of an upgrade at that organization. And I hope that Davis Sarr can, can bring a lot to the table at the team. He is very experienced. He's been in NASCAR for quite some time. And I just hope that he can do a lot for the organizations. Series XM will be sponsoring Mark Trek Jr. For, for five races. The races that they will be sponsoring him are the Bush Clash, the Night Race of Martinsville, the two Pocono Doubleheaders, and New Hampshire. They expanded to two more races this year after Mark Trek Jr. won last year at Dover. I believe that's the main reason they're sponsoring Mark Trek Jr. for more races. And finally... Fire Alarm Services will be sponsoring John Hernemichek for four races this upcoming season. They will sponsor him at the Martinsville Night Race, the Indianapolis Race, the Brickyard Race in July, the Daytona August Race, and a season finale at Phoenix International Raceway. So, I know this is, video is very short, but there wasn't much news to really discuss. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below for that, which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And comment below your opinions on this video. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.